in this After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this very simple and interesting title animation with animated colorful background. So I am Vikash for SkylineMotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition and this is gonna be our main composition. So let's call it main01 and set it 1920 by 1080 and let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I'm going with 30 frame per second and set the duration of this composition 3 second long which is good enough for one text and hit OK. And let's create a background. So just go to layer new and take a new solid layer or you can also hit control Y to take a new solid and uh, this is going to be our colorful background. So let's call it color and just go to effect and preset and search for gradient ramp and let's apply this gradient ramp on this uh, black solid layer and let's do some adjustment. So change this linear to radial ramp and set this gradient point right over here and set this gradient point over here just like that and let's pick a nice gradient color. just like that and now let's create a text so select this text tool and just go to character and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this go bold font style that i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this go bold font style if you want and set the size of this text 300 pixel and set this tracking amount 50 and click over here and type anything that you want and now I'm going to set it in center. So go to alignment. If you can't see this align, then go to window and check this option align and click on this align horizontally. Click on this align vertically. And now select this pan behind tool and set this anchor point in the center of this text. Make sure your snapping is turned on. And now let's animate the text. So just select this move tool, open this layer, click on this animate button. Click on this uh, position and add a position property and go to on one second and set this Y position 50 hit enter and open this range selector and let's animate this start. So set this start value 100% and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a start property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this start value 0 and hit enter and let's play this and as you can see we get something like that which is looking pretty awesome and uh, close this layer and after that select this layer right click on that click on pre-compose and uh, let's call it text 01 check this option move all attributes hit ok And after that, I'm going to create animated circular shape. So just select this ellipse tool. Click on this field and set it to solid color. Click on this stroke and set it to none. And let's create a circular shape. So hold left mouse button, hold control, shift and create a nice circular shape just like that just select this pan behind tool select this layer make sure your snapping is turned on and uh, set this anchor point in the center of this circle over here just like that and go to on two second select this layer right click on that click on rename and uh, let's call it uh, circle one Now I'm going to animate this circle. So hit S on the keyboard to open this scale property. Click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value zero, hit enter. And we get something like this. But 
we have a linear animation right now so select these both keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy is them and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on this and check this option edit a speed graph all right and hold this handle and just drag it like this hold this handle also and create a nice smooth curve and close this graph editor and close this layer and go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this and it's looking like this as you can see all right and now i'm going to use this circle as a matte layer so select this text and go to track mat if you can't see this track mat option then click on this toggle switch edge and change this track mat to luma mat and we get something like this as you can see and after that i'm going to create a duplicate of these layers so hit ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate and select this second circle and select this move tool and just drag it like this and uh, set the circle on this corner just like that and uh, let's create a duplicate of this text layer so hit ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate just drag it like this and set this track mat to no track mat all right and uh, select these four layers right click on that and click on this pre-compose and let's call it animation check this option move all attributes hit ok and just go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow apply this drop shadow on this animation layer and set the distance zero and set this softness value something around 300 and go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this and we get something like this as you can see and select these both layer right click on that click on pre-compose and let's call it final composition so i'm going to call it final check this option move all attributes hit ok and now i'm going to create a slide transition so just go to on one second hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and uh, click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position and uh, go to very beginning of this animation and just drag it down and set it like this and go to on two second and click on this button and lock this position as it is and go to the end of this animation and just drag it up just like that all right and we have a linear animation right now so select these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy is them go to your graph editor hold this point and just drag it like this hold this point also and just drag it like this and do the same thing for this so select this one all right and close this graph editor and go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this and it's looking like this as you can see and now i'm going to fill this blank area so select this final composition close this layer go to effect and preset search for motion tile and let's apply this motion tile effect on this final composition and i'm going to set this output height something around 300 hit enter and now check this option mirror edge edge and uh, as you can see we get something like this all right and finally i'm going to create a blur effect so we have to take a new adjustment layer so just go to layer new and take a new adjustment layer right click on that click on rename and let's call it blur and just go to effect and preset and search for directional blur and let's apply this directional blur on this blur layer and uh, let's animate this blur length so go to on one second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on blur length and uh, go to very beginning of this animation and set this uh, blur length value 100 hit enter 
and uh, go to on two second select this blur layer hit u on the keyboard to open these active keyframes and click on this button and add a keyframe on two second and lock this value and go to the end of this animation and again set this value 100 hit enter and now do the same thing just select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them go to your graph editor select this point and just drag it like this and do the same thing for this one so hold this and just drag it like this and create a nice smooth curve close this graph editor and close this layer all right go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this and it's looking like this and now i'm going to save this project so go to file save as and let's call it title one click on save and again go to file save save as and let's call it title zero two click on save all right and go to project window and let's rename it to main zero two for title two and let's rename this layer also so let's call it text zero two and now i'm going to change this text and this uh, background color so open this text zero two composition and select this text layer select this text tool and click over here highlight all by hitting ctrl a and type your second text just like that and select this color layer go to effect and preset and let's change the color also just like that all right and hit ctrl s for shave and after that let's create a final project file so go to file take a new project and let's create a final composition so click on this new composition and this is going to be our final composition so let's call it final and set it 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 and duration make it six second long for two text animation and hit ok and now let's import that animations so right click on this go to import file and select this title one title two click on import and open this title one open this title two and drag this main zero one into this final composition and drag this main zero two into this final composition and just drag it like this and set it just like that and as you can see our text animation is ready for render so go to the very beginning of this animation go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye